if you invest every month manually and if you're like me when you see the market dipping it's hard to buy more stocks as we get greedy i sometimes got so hung up on this that i didn't invest for several months just waiting for better opportunities which never came that's why i'll show you how to automate your investments in europe this enables you to start dollar cost average investing or since we are europe euro cost average and you just set recurring investments once making your life so much easier because you only need to decide once now i'm not here to give you financial advice and what i'm going to show you is just how i do things hello finance people my name is robert and i'm here to share my my learnings and experiences about personal finance as European. To automate your investments, we will use trading platform called Interactive Brokers. It's one of the best platforms in Europe and you can easily set recurring investments. So let's get started by going to your Interactive Brokers web portal. By the way, you can do this on your mobile app too, but for this tutorial, I'll just use the desktop. If you don't have an account with Interactive Brokers, then just click on the first link in the video description and sign up for an account using my link. This will also support my channel without any extra cost to you. So the first step Step is to find an asset and then set it to be recurring investment. Now to create recurring investments in interactive brokers is quite simple. Uh, you just start by going to the asset you want to buy. In this case, let's say I want to buy VUSA. That's an S&P 500 tracker. And you just find that page. And then here you have recurring. This also works on mobile the same way. Let's select recurring. And now we're basically setting up recurring investments into VUSA ETF. And we're telling it what to do what to invest and on what date so starting date right now it's 13th of october but let's say in a few days let's say next month i will i want to start investing now i get money my salary comes around 24 25th so actually i can start investing somewhere here at the end of the month let's say on 29th or i could say 28 because usually it comes on 24 25th sometimes on 26th so let's say i'm going to pick 28 although it's saturday but it will automatically just invest the next working day so that will be on monday but i'm just going to pick 28th and then the amount will be let's say 500 and then you can choose how often you do this let's say this is monthly for me and now you just need to choose the ending date then you can specify it from here but i'm just going to select no end date and this way it will just always invest that as long as there's money then click on continue and now you can see a summary of what you've done here and if you scroll down save investment there you go your recurring investments in this s p 500 is set up now then click on done now you can see this is a section for recurring investments if you want to come here and delete this for example then you can always just come to trade and from here recurring investments and this is basically the same view so now interactive brokers will invest that money but if there's no money it will not do it so one thing we need to do before we actually go and set up an automatic deposit of money also we need to make sure that we have fractional shares enabled so if you come here in the search box and type fraction and you have here trade in fractions so if you click on that make sure you have both of these selected so global trade in fractions now fractional shares only work for certain uh, stocks and etfs it's most of the most popular ones have it so you'll be fine if you're just buying the popular ones, but there might be a chance that you're not able to do recurring investments for certain stocks and ETFs, okay? So once you've selected, just click on continue and we can go back. Now, what we need to do is actually tell Interactive Brokers that we're gonna send money every month to them. And to do that, we just need to go to transfer and transfer funds and here make a deposit and let's make a new deposit and here choose the currency in my case i'm going to keep euros and then if you want to do bank transfer or uh, transfer from wise balance i'm going to do bank transfer so get instructions here we need to provide some details you've probably already done this before this is the sending institution so it'll be ing bv or something like that it depends really on what is your bank and what the institutional name of that bank is then you can give it the account number but it's optional so i'm not going to do it like this and then from here I will be sending following amount so i'm gonna send 500 euros and here you can make this a transaction recurring so let's press on that and then here you just need to give the recurring transaction name like this choose frequency so i'm gonna just choose monthly and start date end date uh, in this case i'm just gonna keep it open so i'm not gonna select end date and that way it will always be there and the expected date start date i'm just gonna put it 
a few days before it invests. So for example, here I'll put on 26th, let's say. So usually by 26th, I should have the money already in my account. So then just click on get transfer instructions. And here you go. Your recurring bank transfer for 500 euros is, you know, it needs to be confirmed. From here, you can add your username, password, and then confirm the deposit. And there you go. Now you have recurring bank transfer of 500 euros. That's been confirmed. Here's the details you need to provide in your banking app so that this actually, you can send this money automatically to interactive brokers. Stay on this page. We'll need this information in just a second. And the third step is to set recurring payments in your banking app. So I'm going to go to my bank app, that's ING, and I'm ready here, ready to transfer. So here's my bank account and I'm telling, okay, two. So I'm sending this money to interactive brokers from here. I just need to grab the name here, this placed here. Then you have the account number, the IBAN number. Can I add it here in ING, it automatically selects the country and then you can place the amount. So in my case, it's 500. And this is important actually. So because my recurring investment is about 500 euros, I like to put a little bit extra money just in case there's some fees that I missed or some fees that I didn't expect. That way you'll still invest and you don't need to put a lot, maybe two to 5% extra, just, just in case to have a bit of buffer there. You have to add the description. This is super important that you add a number and uh, to the reference. Otherwise, the interactive broker won't know this. This is you sending the money. So make sure you grab this whole line from here. Then if I go back, I'll add a description like that. And if I scroll down, I have an option here to set recurring investments. Again, execution date on. So I'm going to just put on 26th frequency. I'm going to select monthly and I'm not going to say any limitations. So it's just going to do it until I cancel it. So now once I'm happy, I can schedule it. I'll probably need to confirm it as well. And there you go. Now this all should work. So if you scroll down here, interactive brokers and click on finish, this should just start the process of you having recurring investments and this will just ease up your life. First few times I would just check that it actually works, that everything is going right. You're receiving your money on 24th, let's say your salary comes in, then make sure that by 26th, that money goes to interactive brokers. And then on, you know, 28th, interactive brokers will take that money and I'll invest it in the BUSA ETF or whatever asset you choose. Now, if you're curious about what this is going to cost you, obviously the recurring investments themselves don't cost you anything extra, but what they use is the standard fixed commissions. So instead of using um, the tiered commission, they always use the fixed commissions. And from here, you can take a look at your country's uh, situations. For example, I'm going to buy stocks in the ETFs. So in Europe, if I use European exchanges, like in the Netherlands, then you can see here for the Dutch market, these are the costs of fixed. Uh, depending on which one I select, it will be these fixed costs. So that's three euros or four euros per transaction. So that's something to keep in mind if you're trading with small amounts of money. Now you know how to automate your investment. But if you're concerned about what happens to your money if interactive brokers go bankrupt, then you should watch this video next where I'll explain how your money is protected and for how much.